Greg Moss is off today, so Gary and I have the business news for you, and we're taking a look at a revolutionary engine that could change the way many companies do business, including natural gas providers. The engine is being developed by a Colorado company and is getting its first real test now. We have more on this from reporter Mark Curtis. Every day they're coming out with more and more efficient components. These are precision parts for the latest version of a motor developed by a company called Power Verde, or Green Power. And there is no combustion, there is no fire going on, uh, there is no uh, hydrocarbons or emissions. It's a piston engine, but it doesn't burn fuel. Instead, it can run on the excess heat from other engines, like diesel generators. Any kind of heat allows this machine to run. It could be solar or geothermal, anything to heat the refrigerant fluid that drives the engine. Basically, we're using free fuel. Fred Barker, a former Boeing engineer, brought his design skills to the project. His partner, George Conrad, is the machine expert. The system is getting heated up. George explained how the heated fluid runs the motor. We start off with our refrigerant. It gets uh, transferred into our evaporator, which then expands. Expansion creates the pressure that drives our rotary piston motor. The motor turns a generator, producing electricity and the fluid recycles. Most homes probably could be powered on 10 to 15 kilowatts. Uh, this machine is capable of up to 25 kilowatts. Solar panels, much smaller than the ones you see on homes now, could provide heat to run the motor. And they could make their own electricity. And what they made in excess, they could pump back in the grid and make money on it. And at night, uh, when electricity is cheaper, we'd go back on the grid. But Power Verde sees greater potential in attaching its motors to another grid, natural gas pipelines. That's because gas pressure needs to be reduced before it goes into homes. We take the high pressure that's already in the line, bleed off a little part, spin the motor, which generates electricity. Then we return the gas to the low pressure side. No gas is lost, and each decompression site could generate electricity for several homes. We can do this same thing at thousands and thousands and thousands of places. Power Verde has been testing the gas line version of its motor near Seattle and hopes to have it pushing electricity to the grid within 12 months. And what we hope that our company will do is eventually lead to an all-electric United States and the electricity being made with renewable energy. In less than 10 years, we put several men on the moon and brought them back safely. So don't tell me that we can't do this. I know we can. Mark Curtis for Nine News.